Chief Petty Officer Shannon M. Kent was a pioneer for women in Special Operation Forces, SOF for short. Described by her husband as a woman in SOF before there were women in SOF, the death of Chief Petty Officer Kent in Syria on January 16, 2019, marked the tragic loss of one of the Navy's most valued cryptologic technicians. Born in 1983 to a working-class American family in New York, Shannon Kent had American values and traditions instilled in her at an early age by her father, a police officer, and her mother, a teacher. After graduating high school, Shannon enlisted in the Navy on December 11, 2003, citing her family's history of service and 9-11 as her greatest influences. In February 2004, she attended boot camp at Great Lakes, Illinois. She quickly found her place in the Navy as an interpreter and cryptologic technician and studied at the Defense Language Institute. By the time of her death, she would master six dialects of Arabic, as well as Spanish, French, and Portuguese. For her first deployment in 2007, Kent was stationed in Balad, Iraq, with the Joint Special Operations Command in support of a team of Navy SEALs. This was part of an effort to phase women onto patrols to help facilitate conversations with local women, as experience learned over the years in Afghanistan and Iraq showed the cultural limits of an all-male patrol. Between 2007 and 2012, Kent would make two more deployments to Iraq in support of Navy SEAL teams, and in 2010 was recognized as the Department of Defense's Linguist of the Year. In 2012, during a tour to Afghanistan, she received an award for her work in interpretation and intelligence gathering. Two years later, in 2014, Shannon married her husband, Joe Kent, an Army Green Beret, while she was working as the non-commissioned officer in charge at the NSA. Though Kent loved her work for the Navy, she also loved her husband and her two children. While her husband was deployed in 2016, Kent was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. She underwent surgery and had the cancerous tumor removed, all before telling her husband she had even been diagnosed to avoid worrying him while he was deployed. Following her cancer diagnosis, her role as a mother became more important than her service abroad, so Kent requested to attend the Navy's doctoral psychology program, where she would learn to attend to veterans with PTSD. However, due to medical requirements for officers in the Navy, although Kent's application was originally accepted, the Navy later overturned this decision, ultimately rejecting her application for promotion to officer. After this rejection, Kent was deployed again, her fifth deployment in the Middle East, in 2018 as part of Operation Inherent Resolve to Syria. As one of the Navy's premier cryptologic technicians, Kent again went on patrols and was involved in intelligence gathering with local allies. On January 16, 2019, while with a group of local military officials and other U.S. service members, an ISIS bomber walked into the restaurant they were meeting in and detonated his vest, killing Kent and 19 others, including an Army Green Beret. Kent was the first female U.S. combat death in Syria killed by ISIS and the first female U.S. service member killed by enemy fire since 2015. After her death, changes were made within the Navy to allow medical exemptions for commissioned officers. Following lobbying from her family members, the Navy admitted to its mistake in denying her request for promotion and made changes to the protocol to address the problem. Shannon Kent was awarded a Bronze Star, Purple Heart, Defense Meritorious Service Medal, and Meritorious Service Medal. She was posthumously promoted to the rank of Chief Petty Officer Cryptological Technician. At her funeral, Kent's commanding officer said of Chief Kent that her strength, courage, confidence, and resiliency were infectious and exactly what you want in a Chief Petty Officer. In honor of her legacy as one of the Navy and the country's top intelligence officers, several members of the U.S. House and Senate petitioned for a ship to be named after her. While it may take a while for a ship to be named in her honor, the Navy has already elected to name a memorial to Kent, the Kent Navy Yard in Monterey, California. <laughs>